Hey, this is Jennifer Gonzalez for Cult of Pedagogy. Today I'm going to demonstrate a tool for you that is called Paperly. Paperly allows you to curate a collection of online resources that all share a similar topic and produce your own online newspaper that displays them. Okay, so I'm on the Paperly website right now. It's just paper.li. Uh, to create an account, it's very simple. You just need an email address. So I've done that already. I've logged in and then I get it to their home screen. Just click on, click on create paper. Okay, so I am, the first thing I need to do is give the paper a title. And I am going to assume that I'm a science student and I've been tasked with uh, creating a paper on controversies surrounding genetics. So I will put genetic uh, issues. Click next. First thing I have to do is start searching for content. So I'm going to enter a few keywords. I'll put genetics. And they are going to give me a lot of choices of things that I can choose to um, follow. So I'll put genetics update. Choose a few of these things. I'll choose a few RSS feeds. And maybe a YouTube channel or two. And I will search, uh, let's see, stem cell. And maybe GMOs, because those are um, controversial also. Just a couple of things. And once I've selected some sources, I click Create My Paper. And this is what I get. So my next step is to just edit it and make sure that everything is uh, really the way I want it. The first thing I'm going to do, I'll click on edit. I'll go into settings. I'm going to click on content. Because when I clicked all of those sources, they just put them in the exact order that I um, selected them. So I can actually slide certain things up. Like I'll probably slide this GMO journal up higher so that it's uh, given more priority. Maybe do the stem cell one a little higher and I, you can prioritize which means that things get um, pulled in um, in that order. You can also select the paper sections. Some of the sections that they give you by default are not at all related to the stuff you're going to be looking for. So I'm going to select which ones I want to keep. I'm going to get rid of trending hashtags because sometimes that filters in weird stuff. I'm going to get rid of arts and entertainment. I don't think that's relevant in business and we'll get rid of a few other sections. Once you've done that, then you'll want to click Fetch New Content because that will uh, clean it up a little bit. So now I've got basically a draft of my paper. And if I am a student, I'm going to get graded on making sure that I've got everything uh, only relevant to my content. I'm going to have to go in and edit some and pull out stuff that doesn't really have any connection. So suppose I really want this to be my main story. I would just grab it here, pull it over here, and then that becomes the lead story. So you can drag things around. You can uh, delete things that have no relevance to your topic. Right now, everything on here seems to be pretty, it seems to be pretty much focused just on the GMO stuff. So if I wanted to add more things, then I would just go back in and change the content in my settings the way I just did. Um, and if I wanted to delete something, suppose I decided that this video right here was not relevant, I would just click it and it would disappear. So anybody who creates one of these can really edit them to make them purely about the content that they're looking for. Once the student has decided that their paper is ready to share, they would simply highlight the URL, copy it, and then paste that into an email or wherever you would like them to share the URL. And so this is a great way of teaching your students how to curate content. It would be a great way to create a classroom newspaper or a school newspaper. Uh, and so I just wanted to show you that tool and I hope you have fun with it.